Hey guys, welcome to a special edition of Main Street Live, Walking on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm Teresa Gillis. And I'm Bobby Vaughn. Welcome. welcome. So we welcome. have the farmer's market happening right now behind us. If Mike wants to pan around and see the people and all the booths, we have many vendors with us today. Bobby, yes. would you like to talk about a couple of the let's vendors? Talk. First, let's look over here. We have Eileen and Sue. We, have, we talked to them last, yeah, last month. Yes, um, we, have we did. Here further, we have Groves. Groves Gro is actually here. We do. So if you're looking for some sweet corn, we get do. it here tonight. And we also had Brett Smith from Lakewood yes. that's oh with gosh. us. And we have Miss Kitty. Not with rolling. all of her nut rolls, all the made apple and nut, apricot. We have the olive scene down here as well. We do. Yes. And we have Melissa Porter. I'm trying to think of the name of her business. 716? I the 716? Oh, familiar. I'm sorry, Melissa. I can't remember what it is, but I think that's what it is. But yeah. she got all kinds of refurbished uh, yeah. furniture here. What, what that means there is there's so many vendors down here, we just can't remember, guys. Really, come on yeah, down. Yeah, I mean, come there's, down. There's a lot of fun going on. We have the over here, um, over Mike. If you want to scan over, we have oh, Henrietta Co-op. Uh, pickles with us, awesome. yes, which is really nice. They have a lot of different vegetables and sweet corn and tomatoes and cucumbers, and we have all different kinds of things. So let's come with us, yeah. Mike. Let's walk down here. We're going to go talk to um, the lady from the Breadsmith yeah, from Lakewood. That. Let's talk to her. She's here. And looks like she's got well, some customers. While we're walking, guys, let's let's come on downtown and support support this. Support your local businesses. All the shops are open late tonight. And Absolutely, all the are open late. Absolutely. So right here we have um, Bread Smith. Yes. From Lakewood, they have all different kinds of yummy breads. And you've got some samples, and I've tried them all a million times. Bobby, this is not supposed to be your dinner, <laughs> but come down and support all these things. Yeah. We have um, we have maple syrup here behind us oh, too. Check these out, Tracy. Look at those. Oh, those are really cute. Look, look at that. Turtle here. Look, these ah. are really neat. These are light bulbs. Oh, those are those cute. Are really cool. Those are really cute. Oh, oh, look at this. Is my favorite one, I think. Look that at that. Oh, it's a little and cute. And then you guys should come down. We're, we're we're far away from it right now, but we have these, these people make these bowling balls. Oh, oh gosh, yes, they absolutely. The ever. They Here's Stump them. Water Farm, and they are here with their Ohio maple syrup. And let's just say hi to them. Let's say hi and see. So you want to tell us a little bit about the maple syrup? Sure. I'm going to give you my microphone. Oh, okay. You can hold it. Okay, we're, we're just south of Wellington. Is where We tap about 1,000 trees. We, we, uh, my son and I, we, we own, each own half the business. Uh -huh. And we do, do maple syrup, but we also do some... Some maple syrup that we dump into a freshly dumped barrel, a bourbon barrel, and that we age it in that. So it gives it a little more unique taste to it in that. And we have it both in glass and plastic. Nice. Awesome. So well, we're glad to have you. Well, yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah, thanks. Thank, so, thank I'm you. From Amherst, so I'm Are you really? I did not know that. Uh, Amherst nice. High School? Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's I learned something new today. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. We're glad to have you. Okay, Bobby, what are we going to do now? Let's tell everybody where we're going. Know. We're going to take you for a little drive. I know we're supposed to be walking drive. on Wednesday, but we're going to be driving on Wednesday. Okay, we're going to take a little walk and we're going to we're going to squeeze through here real quick. And we are going to take everybody on a little ride. A little tour of downtown. Yeah. yeah, and see all the things that are happening. We know this might be a little bit longer than normal. Well, we just thought it might be a little cool thing to do is right. take everybody for a little ride. So you, if you can't make it down for whatever reason or if you want to see what's happening. And if you're on the streets, get off the streets now because Teresa is driving. I am a good driver, Bobby. Uh
what, 30, 35 years ago? Yeah. I don't Christmas know. Story came out. They I did not him. know that. Yeah. Christmas Story. He's he's famous. That's right. And, and then we, we found a picture. It. it was we a large extras. picture in Chicago. And here it is uh, on the street at uh, facing Higby's. So that oh my was, gosh! That, we went all the way to Chicago to get the That's picture. Awesome. No. Yeah, so I am going to. I think your car's right there, right? Is that your one? Yeah. Let's walk over here, Mike, and look at his car as we all trip over all yes. of our cords. So How are you guys doing tonight? we are doing really good tonight. You know what? Everybody's got to come down and see these cars. It is just oh amazing. Um, to see all the different kind of cars that are here and the people that are here to um, entertain the community and so okay, come down door prize, Oh it. door prize okay, well, let's see, what's the name here? I believe this is Flock. it right? Flock. Yes, I believe so. I believe okay. this is the car that was in the Christmas story Flock. the actual movie the Christmas story yes, how cool Which is, is that? pretty cool. Yeah. I like that and it's right. So I have a question. I have another I have another question for you. She called it a white. It's not white. I know it. It is a white. A white um, motor in Cleveland made it. White oh, Motor okay. Company. So oh, I, th I thought I she. I thought white. she meant that it was a white car. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we can't make it white. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beauty. It is, it is. Wow. Look at it's these. Check this out. Sixty-five years. Sixty-five years. Yeah. Seriously, just wow. this tire. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, it's All a wooden. wooden. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Looks and it's been awesome. On the road since 1955, and it went to Toronto, Canada, Dearborn, Michigan, Cincinnati, and all uh, never towed it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it's been awesome. Awesome. My dad, awesome. my dad purchased it in 1953, restored it in 55, and it's been on the road ever since. Very cool. So, well, I'm I'm glad you guys I was I was five car years old here. when we got it. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Second Wednesday of every month. Nice. Yep. No, Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking to yeah, us. We yeah, appreciate it. Not the market. Oh, thank uh, thanks. you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From Wisconsin. And they just love it here and love Cleveland and so on. Well, that's great. Thank yeah. you. You know, we have to, you know, really we have to say thank you to the community because if it wasn't yeah. for the community, Absolutely. Main Street wouldn't be able to yeah. exist. So yeah. thank you to everybody well, for yeah, supporting us. This is a town that just takes pride in there, you know. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So what else do we want to talk about, Bobby? Anything yeah, else? I think. the ride to the, the last attraction. Oh, we do yeah. want to take um, Mike. Poor Mike. Do you, can you send the back of the, <laughs> the um, golf cart again? Because we want to go to one more section to show everybody one other thing that's happening. One last stop, It's guys. really a kind of a we cool. It's a little long, but hey, we want to give you a it whole. It is. Um, but yeah. one of the things I want to talk about as we're going over to the next stop, um, it's kind of bittersweet in a way. Um, there is um, a stand over here for little Addie that lost yes. her life. Um, they are having a lemonade stand here. So come down to the lemonade stand and support this family. Um, it's a really great cause. And uh, so we're going to go over there and take Yes, us. let's do that. We'll see what's happening over in the kids' area. Oh, there's Mr. Dunn. Yes. Mike, make sure you get Mr. Dunn in the picture. And Larry's in the back of the truck there. He's hey, the one Larry. doing the music there. So here we go. Bye, Mr. Dunn. Mr. Dunn, he's like... Oh. Okay, let's not run anybody over no, here. not. Not live, anyway. Yeah, yeah, maybe not later. Live. Thank you. Bye, guys. All right, nice music. Yeah, hear that nice awesome. music. That's from Larry. I did not see Pat. I always so feel like we're we, all we need is a beer in our hand. I feel like we're at Putin Bay. You know what? We, <laughs> yeah, you know what we didn't do? We didn't find out who the winner was. So we'll oh, announce that later yeah. on uh, Facebook. So watch our Facebook page. We'll announce who the winners but were. Check out all the people down here. You know, like I nice. said, the shops. That there's are the open Watsons. <laughs> oh, where's Denver? We can't see Denver. Oh, there's Denver. Hi, Denver. <laughs> Such a nice That's community. That's from Watson and Wilson, yeah. well, Wellness. We did a Main Street Live there. We Watson did. Live. We did. But okay. Let's talk about, Teresa, some of the shops that are open late tonight. We have okay. um, Lemonade's Tale over here on the left. Yes. Um, down here we have Sandstone Candleworks. We have Etc. Yes, Etc. And let's see. What else do we have? We, we have, have all the restaurants are yeah. open. And Von Tierier's is open let's late. Let's say hi to our new Oh, this is Lainey. That Mike is Lainey. Lainey. Hi, Lainey. Hey. Hey. 
dude, Lake Laney is she one of our newest. She is opening, I think, oh, tonight. you know what? Yeah. Um, Puffers, I, I don't yes. know if they're open yet, but they're coming, too. Correct. So we're going to go over yeah. here. We're not going to run over these guys, but we're going to park backwards. Right. And we're going to go over here and talk and see what's happening over here on Tessa the green Diaz space. Their patio. With, you know, yeah. everybody's oh gosh, out, out and about awesome. tonight. This is amazing. So we're going to get out here, and we're going to go talk to some of the people that are over here in this section and see what's happening, because it looks like there's more than just a lemonade stand and happening you can over here. music over Brew Kettle patio, yeah. too. Yeah, nice. absolutely. Are we okay? I don't want to lose Mike there. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and we're going to talk to Sarah Yoder, which she has no idea that we're going to talk to her, but we're going to talk to Sarah anyways. Hi, Sarah. We are live on Main's Facebook Live. I'm sorry to interrupt you. We just want to say, what are you doing here? Um, we're selling uh, the rest of our stock for our Choose Kind shirts that was to benefit um, the to Todd Engel and right. now Corey. Yeah. So um, come on down and get your shirt. They're $12 for adults and um, $10 for kids. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. No yeah, so come on down. You can get one of these shirts and then um, and you can see some of the other things that are happening. We also have another stand here. We're going to talk to Beth here. We got to go back here because Beth is over here. Beth, we want to find out what's happening. What are you doing here? So we are raising money for Alex's Lemonade Stand in honor of Addison Keegan. And Addie was a fourth grade student who passed away last September from ependymoma, which is a form of brain cancer. And um, Alex's Lemonade Stand does some awesome things for childhood cancer. They fund research and they also benefit the families that are battling cancer. Actually, Addison's family was a uh, recipient of their generosity when they were in a... Um, a research study and Alex's Lemonade Stand paid for their gas cards to get them back and forth to Wisconsin and also their hotel stay while they were there. So Very nice. just a fantastic organization in honor of a, an amazing young lady who nice. left too soon. Well, Thanks for doing to have you. Yeah. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for having Yeah, us. you're welcome. Anytime. Good luck. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we're going to go down here. We have one more, something else that's happening down here. We're going to go talk to this next group. Hi there. We're going to talk to this next group, and they are the task force of the Amherst. And so we're going to talk to Julie Bogoveski, which oh, she has right. no idea Hi, that Julie. we're, we're going to put her on the spot either. You're on the spot. We're <laughs> live, Facebook Live. And if you could tell us a little bit about the task force. Well, um, we are the Amherst Community Task Force. We are bringing awareness to our community of drug and alcohol addiction. And we have with us tonight as well um, Children's Services here. Just... Um, trying to talk to our community about the op opioid addiction has created um, so many extra foster kids in our system that we just need parents to sign up to become foster parents so we're working together to try to keep our kids safe in our community and surrounding communities we have information here uh, on keeping your kids keeping your teens drug free tobacco marijuana heroin if you're interested in any of that information if you, even if you're not ready for it yet, have it on hand so that when the time comes, you're prepared with how to talk to your kids about these issues. Well, thank you, Julie. Thanks. We Thanks appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry for putting yeah. you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go down here and we'll talk to you, too. I, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Hi, Lisa. I'm Teresa. Hi. Lisa I'm Bobby. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm with a caseworker with Lorraine County Children's Services. I'm actually in our foster care and adoption department, and we really appreciate the invitation to come out tonight. Um, we're really just trying to raise awareness for the need for foster families in our community, um, and also for kinship and uh, relative placements. Um, that's our next defense um, before even foster care. We want kids to be able to stay safe in the community, in their families. Um, so we're just trying to wrap those services around. And if a child does have to come into foster care, we just want to have a good variety um, to meet the needs of the, of the children until we can get them back home. Okay, nice. so I have a question for you. So if somebody wanted to be a foster family, how do they get a hold of you? They can give us a call at 440 Three two nine five three four zero, or you can go on our website, which is childrenservices.org. We also are on Facebook. We have um, you can search for our agency or for our foster parent group. So we have tons of information on there. Give us a call. We always have a staff member every uh, business day who's on call to answer questions. Um, we can send you out some more information, and yeah. 
All Very right. nice. Great. No, I'm going to go back to Julie just for one second because I have one more question for Julie. So, Julie, um, if I'm not mistaken, your committee has meetings. Um, are people welcome to come? And if so, when are your meetings? Well, they're generally every Tuesday, the first Tuesday of the month, but it's probably best to give a call and just to make sure that we are meeting. Sometimes when we have special events like this, we don't have the meeting, yeah. so we just do the special event. So, 8040. Thank you so Thanks, much. Ladies. I forgot yes. something else. Very important. Tomorrow night we have an orientation um, for families in, who are interested in getting more information. Um, it'd be great if you could give us a call at that number. If not, uh, we're at the administration building downtown Elyria. Okay. We run one about once a month. Oh, um, nice. So it's a good way to come in and just face-to-face uh, -face get your questions answered. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. Awesome. Kid, there's kid games if people want to come so, out. We're going to go one more place. Yeah, I guess it goes to show you, Teresa. Walking on Wednesday is really a lot more than just a farmer's market or car show. Yes. You really get to learn a lot, too, down here. It is. You know? It is. There's a lot, all kinds of information. And I think what Julie talked about, you know, yeah. people don't want to say it's happening, but it is it happening is. right it's here in our problem. community. So everybody needs to help raise all of our children together and team together. Right. So we're over here at the Brew Kettle, and they've got some music going on. So Mr. Camp. Oh, hi. I'm fine. How are you? It's nice up? to see ya. you. Too. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> wonderful job she's doing here with the city band. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> see you later. So we got some music going on here. You're on Facebook Live. So you want to just yeah. kind of get in there? Can you Can you see or no? Okay, awesome. So we got some music playing. People are enjoying their dinner. And they it's look pretty nice. crowded. Every Wednesday, I will say that the Brew Kettle does do live entertainment every Wednesday night on their patio. So I'd like to encourage everybody to come on out right. and um, take part in that, have some dinner, have a drink, um, do whatever you'd like to do. And you guys still have plenty of time. It's only 6.40 and it goes on until dark. Yeah, so, so come on out, yeah. come downtown. There's all kinds of things. All the restaurants are open. And I know that a lot of them have specials and things. I don't remember them all. So come down, check them out. And we want to thank everybody yeah. for staying with us for this long video. So we'll see everybody later. Bye, guys. See you next week. Thank you. Bye.